know it's been a while I haven't been quite well and I have been extremely tired lately so I haven't done much painting at all uh, anyway I'm back I'm going to do a painting today I have a new little experiment for me um, I mean I am totally new on this so everything I do is an experiment actually uh, anyway today I was in a craft shop and uh, I found this uh, Winter Newton Galeria acrylic medium uh, iridescent medium it shimmers uh, and you can add it to your paints and you can make it metallic so I have done that so I'm going to do my plan is that I'm going to do a jiggle pour <coughs> and I also bought my new beautiful silicone cups I love them these are 100 mill <coughs> milliliters um, I've used one, or I used a lot, some of them, just to uh, mix some paint in them with pouring medium. Uh, I never poured from one, but I'm going to do that now, actually. Um, but the thing is, when I have mixed paint in them, I have just left the paint in the cup. Uh, it has been standing and drying to the next day. And uh, when I wanted to use it, I just did like this. Well, I just mashed it together and um, the paint flaked and I just could pour it out in the bin and uh, the remains that was still in, I just poured some water in, rinsed it under water and it was squeaky clean. That is something I love. Easy to clean and environmental friendly. friendly. I can use it over and over and over again. I love that. So I'm going to do a jiggle pour. I have used the iris iridescent medium. Uh, I have all non-metallic colors. Uh, so I have cadmium red DPU, uh, which I have put in the, the medium. I have the only one that is metallic is a pearl white. I have uh, cerulean blue U. And then I have turquoise, and I have two turquoise, and both just says turquoise, but as you can see, it is two different colors. So this is a darker turquoise, and this is a, just a lighter, brighter, whatever you say, uh, turquoise, and I'm going to use them both. They are different brands, so I guess that's why the, the color is not, well, the shade is not exactly the same. Well, they're far from the same, aren't they? Uh, so let's do this a jiggle pour. I have also tried a new thing today. This is a chipboard uh, I've used chipboard before. I know you have seen that But I got a tip on Facebook that if you use duct tape and make a cross on the back side it won't warp So we'll see how that works out um, as you can see This one which I have posted a video on it warped quite a bit and that's a bit well it's a bit sad it's a bit boring I don't like it uh, it makes a whole lot of extra work for me and I, I don't need that actually so I'm going to try this and see if it helps against the warping and um, well we'll find out won't we so the paint uh, I have not equal amounts because some of the paint actually run, ran out so well it will be what it be so I will start with the white just a little bit in the bottom uh, yeah and now it just messed, I got messed up. Yeah, great. And then I'll take it from this end, I think. And I will just fill the cup up. And I don't know how many layers it's going to be, but we'll, we'll find out. Um, in this experiment, I have used equal parts of paint 
and um, the iridescent, iridescent medium. Um, I don't think you need to do that in one of my paints. I actually used uh, one part paint to a half a part, part medium. And um, and it shimmers just just as much as the others, so um, I think that will be quite enough actually. Okay, <laughs> my cup is almost full, so I guess I didn't need need it that much, do you? Now I'm going to take the red here. The red is a little bit thinner than the other, uh, that was the first one I did, um, so yeah, I don't want white because that will turn pink. And I think I have the dark blue, or the cerulean blue, not the dark blue, cerulean. Cerulean, cerulean. What do you say? Well, I don't know. Ah, doesn't really matter, does it? And I'm gonna white, and then we'll end up with the turquoise. Just a little bit. Okay. And one thing that I like as well, I can see that now, is that you can actually see the layers in the cup. See if I can lift it up so you can see. Right? You can see it? Um, oops, that was a bit. Hmm, that wasn't what I wanted. But yeah, I think it will be fine anyway. Let's do it like this. So, a jiggle pull. You jiggle from one end to the other. And, um, We'll find out how this goes, won't we? Um, I have a lot of paint. <laughs> I have a lot of paint. Um, I still have a very large quantity left so I'm going to do it like this and I'm going to do it like this and uh, we will see how much that will stay in and when you look at this it is absolutely beautiful inside you can't see it that's a shame it is absolutely beautiful inside so I'm actually going to keep it I'm uh, hoping that it will dry out well and uh, maybe I can have some skin from that and do some jewelry. Okay. Hmm. We'll see how this turns out. Uh, I think I'll go sideways first. Just to make them one puddle. And then I I think I will, I will torch. And we're still not friends, me and my torch, uh, but I'm going to use it anyway. So here we go. I mean, I don't have patience to sit and wait for the bubbles to leave the paint I, uh, I do the paint the same day I used I uh, want to use them because I never do I never know what I want to do so that's why I always got a lot of air bubbles hmm. it's okay I don't mind it's all and the few cells that do come I don't mind I actually do not mind I do not care it's okay I think the they have their charm <clears throat> as well.
will not be the best painting I have ever done. <laughs> Far from. Uh, but I do like it anyway. And Oops. I want that off. That corner was not beautiful at all. So off it goes. corner where I don't have any paint on at all. And you can't see anything, can you? Well, too bad. Not much to do about that. Is. I did actually poured it all off, didn't I? Well, that's okay. I don't mind. Um, so we'll see. Do we like that? I don't think we do. Thing is, I don't really have that much. Paint um, on the board. Uh, most of it is actually on my silicone mat. Uh, so I don't think that even if I tilt it, I don't think it will go away. But I can try. it's not moving it's not moving at all okay it will be it, it will have to be like that it's not much to argue about that's how it is you can't have it all can you should have been a little more careful with the tilting okay let's torch this a lot of bubbles and I don't really know how to get rid of them because the torch don't take them hmm. well okay uh, I don't have any silicone in this uh, so the cells that are coming up is actually from the paint and from the air bubbles um, yeah and that's fine that's okay okay I will pause you and I will bring you down so you can take a close-up uh, and you can see that the whole painting is shimmering uh, quite a lot and I like it I actually do like it I'm not too fond about that corner but that's how it is it will stay there uh, I do like this so just a minute okay look at this look at the shimmer it is all over the painting and I love it I just adore it um, this will look so amazing uh, when it get varnish if I varnish because this is just a test piece. Um, actually, that corner isn't so bad at all. Like, anyway, um, I love it. The paint was maybe a tad too thin. Um, 
maybe. Um, but yeah, I can live with that. That's okay. I mean, just look at the shimmer. I'm happy. I don't know if you like it, but I like it. Um, I do think it is absolutely amazing. Let me see if you can see. See? Can you see that? It's just all over. Yeah, I'm going to use that more, but I am going to try to take a little less of the iris iridescent medium. Okay, bye guys.